Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So this week, uh, I actually have a little bit of a commission build to do. Uh, you've probably all seen those shadow boxes for shirts and whatnot. Well, that's what I'm gonna build this week. And I've never done one before, so a little bit of a learning experience for me. Um, probably do mitered corners, plexiglass in a groove, uh, and a half inch back so they can hang it on the wall. Um, but that should give me enough surface area there with screws and whatnot uh, that I, I can get away with the spline miters in the corner. Um, obviously, a display case like that is more about the object in the case than it is the case. So we'll subdue it a little bit. I am going to do it in walnut since I have, I have a nice stash of walnut um, and maybe a little maple for the spline. So it has a little flare, but not a lot. So let me run to the big box store and get my plexiglass um, because although I have a, a minimum size it has to be, I need to see what I can get for plexiglass here locally, uh, which may change my sizes just a little bit, but I have some flexibility there. So back in a few minutes with the plexiglass and some final sizes. So I'll probably rough mill some lumber as well. Okay, so I picked out a couple of boards and I selected these two boards in particular because the color was so close and I'll be able to get pretty close on grain all the way around. Um, and you see my lines on there, I've kind of marked out what I want. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get these cut up and, and get them milled. But first I'm gonna switch the camera around and kind of, I did a little mock-up because I wanted to see exactly how wide I needed and stuff. Okay, so I had an old practice dovetail board here um, that I thought was good because it's about three inches, which what I, is what I thought that this frame was going to be. But I took a little piece of scrap half inch ply that I'm gonna use for the back and a piece of this plexiglass that I'm gonna use for the front. And I just don't think that I need three inches. I think I can get away with two inches and we'll be good. The shirt's gonna mount inside of the back uh, or inside of the frame using rare earth magnets I think at least that's what I'm gonna give a try and uh, and we'll see how all that works out but I need to go ahead and get that lumber milled up and I, and then get everything cut to size and then we can move on at some point I need to figure out the size for this back panel because this back panel gets painted black um, so moving forward mill and lumber is next Okay, now that I've got my stock flat, it's all long, but it is flat and square. It's been cut to width. I've set a regular blade at a quarter inch high, a quarter inch from the fence, and I'm just gonna cut a groove and test fit on my glass. And if I have to, I'll bump it over just a little bit and widen that groove out to accept the plexiglass. Okay, so next I'm going to cut that rabbit in the back to accept that half inch back panel. And I did run a test cut just to make sure everything is spot on, and it is. So all I'm going to do is, is cut these at the router table. Uh, you could do this with the table saw as well. Uh, I just haven't had a mess here in a while, so I thought I'd make one. and that's how I'm going to cut all these. I did have to remove my insert um, just because the, the back of my riving knife was hitting the bottom of that insert. Um, the good thing is, is I don't have anything that's going to fall off in there anyway. That little chunk will land right on here. So all I'm going to do is, is get these all cut. Okay, once again that frame sled sure paid off. All four corners look just like that and I haven't done any sanding yet so I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Well I've got it in this stage just dry fit. I'm going to go ahead and get the measurement 
for the plexiglass. And then okay, so I just wanted a little closer up shot to show you what I did. Um, I switched my blade out uh, to a flat bottom blade. I've set a stop block here and clamped it to the fence, which will always set my spot for coming in to cut for that spline. And it doesn't matter what length my piece is, I, I merely have to flip it over and every one in all four corners will all be in exactly the same spot. So that's what I'm going to cut now. Okay, so there it is. Uh, I'm just going to leave this sit here for tonight now. Uh, there's no glue on it yet, but I'll come out in the morning and cut some spline stock. Um, I still want to pre-finish all of this uh, before the glue up. It's just easier once the plexiglass is in. Um, and we still have the back panel to do. And uh, yeah, we'll start thinking about wrapping this up when we get through all that. Okay, so I thought I'd take a second and show how I cut these thin strips that we're going to use for stock for our splines. But a lot of times thin strips like this I use for uh, cabinet faces and, and that kind of stuff. It just, it, it comes in handy for trimming things out. Um, so once I have found the setting that I like that works, or i.e. that thickness, then I will set a stop here. And in my case, this is a little mag switch, but you know, just about anything you clamp in place uh, will, will work. Um, and then I simply can just slide the fence over, make the next cut, slide the fence over, make the next cut. And then I can make as many of these as, as I'd like. So for now, I need, uh, I think I just need two of these and uh, then we'll start getting that frame glued together. Okay, so before I pull this frame all apart, I need to get a measurement for the plexiglass. Um, and I'll show you a couple of different ways to do that. Um, for starters, we know that our groove is a quarter of an inch deep. So we can literally just take a measurement, which I'm 28 on my inside here, we can add a quarter, a quarter of an inch for each side and we can cut it at 28 and a half, okay? So what if you have a weird number or, you know, for whatever reason, you need a different method. So this was just a little off cut from making one of these strips and a little piece of blue tape. And we'll literally just set that in there and we'll make a gauge. We'll set it in there. And I like the blue tape just to tape it together instead of relying on my fingers to hold it perfectly. And we'll take it out. Something thin and flexible so it, it's easy to get in and out is helpful. And let's see what we came out with here. Yep, 28 and a half. Same measurement. So, just a couple of different ways to grab that measurement. So now that I have my measurement, I can pull all this apart and start sanding because uh, I'm going to pre-finish the inside of this. And I'll do all this sanding off camera. I'm going to sand to 180 grit. All right, so we're all sanded up to 180. And I have a couple of coats of armor seal on it. It's all cured up. It's been a couple of days now. So I think we're in good shape. I have this plywood in the middle um, because this acrylic that's going in here is thin and it likes to warp and it's a little tricky to get it in the groove. So I built this little kind of ramp, if you will, to get it in there and allow me to get everything clamped up. So everything's just sitting here loose right now and I'm gonna go ahead and get the glue on it, get the acrylic in it, um, and then I'll push these and uh, let her cure.
Okay, now just get a little glue down in here in each one and drive my splines. Okay, I'll let that cure tonight, and then we'll come back and flush trim these, take care of any cleanup and finish up here that I want to do before I peel the film off. Okay, I know it's a little hard to see, um, but I had to actually dog ear the corners of the back panel because of the splines. The splines actually chewed up just a little piece of that corner, and I'm fine with that. I don't mind dog ear in the corners. Uh, I've also gone ahead and pilot drilled for the mounting screws um, and gave it a, a light sanding. So hopefully everything fits just right. That's a good fit. So now just pilot drill into the wood and get the screws put in. Just like that. I'll get all the way around, and then we'll turn it over and show you the other side. Okay guys, so unfortunately that's going to wrap it up for this one. The clients decided that they're going to uh, install the shirt themselves, so I didn't get to go down that part. Um, and then due to some scheduling constraints, I need to get this shipped out to them tomorrow. So uh, that's as far as this one's going to go, but they did promise me they'll send me a picture once they get the shirt mounted and they get it hung on the wall. So uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, yeah, it's, it's really hard to shoot a picture of this, something that large that's almost all essentially plexiglass in the front. Um, so those reflections and things you see are, are not issues at all. That's just the lighting and the angles. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. So until next time, guys, take care. <laughs>